Hey, fourth grade. Um, I just wanted to go through a tree diagram with you, okay? Um, we had a little bit of trouble on that on uh, Power Up 96. And just so that you understand, um, Micah and Raleigh, I had typed this for you, and, and Caleb, I was going to send this to you also. But knowing that all three of you had so much trouble, trouble with it, I thought I'd go through it with you so that you understand what I'm talking about. This truly would be a correct answer if you list every single way that you could do it. If you remember, the problem asks you to um, find all the combinations if there's a front light switch, a middle light switch, and a back. And so each one you could do on, 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 then on, on, off, on, off, off, on, off, on. So you see that you have this set of ons, and then you have the same thing for the set of offs. What a tree diagram does is instead of having to write every single one of these, okay, all of these are the word on. So instead of having all of those words on, you write one on. Okay, now what are your choices from there? Well, we can have an on or an off. So you only have to write that once like that. From there, what could you have? From here, you could have on or off. From here, you could have off or on. Or, and again, it wouldn't matter what order these were in. These could be switched around, okay? But do you see how that makes a tree? All right, and you have fewer things that you need to write then. So here on our last one, we would have the word off. That's our first one can either be on or off. Then what choices do we have? Well, it could be off next or on next. So we just need to write it twice. On the last one, you always have to write all four or however many choices total they give you. And so then you look at how many total combinations are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight total combinations. All righty. Okay, uh, one other one that we're having some issues with, let me just erase my board here, is uh, some problems where, for example, um, let me find one here quick. Da, 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 da. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Uh, this was from lesson 97, and you had this in 96 a, as well. Uh, this was number six. It says, if y equals 4x, take away 2, and then it says, what is y if x is 4? So then you just have to remember that x is 4. And some of you did write this part down, okay? Okay. You see that okay? Let me move it a little bit. All right. This is the first thing that would be on your page. Now you have to actually solve it, putting 4 in the place of x. So that means your equation is actually 4, or excuse me, y equals 4 times 4 minus 2. y equals 16 minus 2. So then y equals 14. So you, you need to do the work. You need to show the problem. You need to do the work. Okay? Alrighty. Uh, thanks so much for listening. And remember, call me if you have problems. Okay? Call me if you have a question. I realize that oftentimes your moms or dads or a grandma or somebody might be there, um, but they don't always know exactly what I'm looking for and uh, how we've been talking about math. So I think it's important that you pick up that telephone and give me a call. I truly, I may not answer the phone that exact second, but I am working um, a lot <laughs> and I am available. And I, if I'm, uh, usually if I don't answer, it means I'm on the phone with somebody else. So um, give me a call and I will be glad to answer your questions for you. All right. Thank you.